Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our Fulton County Live Stream of Story Time. My name is Miss Marshall. All right, I know some of you are back in school. It's back to school time. We gotta get ready. August back to school, back to school. I know, but some of you ones are still at home. You get to see Miss Marshall doing story time. And we have story time Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. We're gonna continue to have story time for the little ones. So for some of the ones that's not doing work, come on and join us for story time. And if you need to take a break, welcome to come in too. So all right, so we're gonna do some stories today. We're gonna sing a few songs and then we're gonna end our day with a few more songs. So all right, so welcome, welcome, welcome. We're waiting on some more boys and girls to come in. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Like I said, my name is Miss Marshall. So come on and join us for the fun time we're gonna have for the next few minutes. All right, okay, I see some boys and girls are on. All right, so let's get ready to sing our first song because I know we used to going on a bus. Yeah, some people like riding a school bus. All right, so what do you do when you go on a school bus? All right, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut. Open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. What do the children on the bus do? The children on the bus go bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. Bump. The children on the bus go bumpity bump. All through the town. What? The horn on the bus go beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus go beep, beep, beep. All through the town. What? Somebody might brought their animal on the bus. What happened? The doggies on the bus go erp, erp, erp. Erp, erp, erp. Erp, erp, erp. The doggies on the bus go erp, erp, erp. All through the town. Uh oh, somebody might have brought a kitty on a bus. The kitty's on the bus. Go meow, 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 meow. The kitty's on the bus. Go meow, meow, meow. All through the town. Uh oh, what do the children on the bus? The children on the bus. Go. I love you. I love you. I love you. The children on the bus. Go. I love you. All through the town. If it's some babies on the bus, they may say, wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus say, wah, 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 all through the town. Uh, if the mommies on the bus may, shh, 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 shh. The mommies on the bus say, shh, 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 shh. all through the town. All right, what did the driver say when he gets to the school? <gasps> it's time to get off the bus, get off the bus. Get off the bus. The driver on the bus says it's time to get off the bus. Get off the bus. All through the town. All right. So we are ready for school. All right. So for the people that had to go to school, let's get ready for our first story because we're going to be talking about this little boy who had to go to school. Let's see what he did when he went to school. All right. His name is David. David. David goes to school by David Shannon. I think it's about David when he was a little boy. But let's see what happened with David when he went to school. David's teacher always says, no, David, no yelling, no pushing, no running in the halls. David. You're tardy. Sit down, David. Don't 
chew gum in class. <gasps> Too much gum. That's a no-no for class. David, raise your hand. Make sure you raise your hand when you're in class or even if you're on a computer. Raise your hand so the teacher can see you. <gasps> Keep your hands to yourself. Do you supposed to touch your neighbor? No. <laughs> Pay attention. And this is a very important rule. <laughs> Pay attention when you're in class. Don't look out the window. Don't play with your pencil. Pay attention. Pay attention even if you're on a computer. Pay attention. Wait your turn, David. Wait in the lunch line. I don't care who started it. Now, what happened here? David is bothering his neighbor. Don't bother your neighbor. David, recess is now over. It's time to go back to class, David. Shh. Okay. What do that look like? He's in the library. And you're supposed to be quiet when you're in the library. You use your library voice. Shh. And you say, shh. Yeah. Be quiet when you're in the library. Again. What? David has to go to the restroom. But that's a good thing he raised his hand so he can let his teacher know he needs to go to the restroom. That's good. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> That's it, mister. You're staying out of school. What did he do? He did something he wasn't supposed to do. He's writing on the desk. No, 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 no. That's not a good thing. David, have you finished yet? See if you finish. Good job, David. You get a treat if you finish and do what you're supposed to do. Sometimes you may get a treat. <gasps> yes, David. You can go home now. All right. So he did a good thing, so he gets to go home. Well, all right, that was our first book. David Goes to School by David Shannon. All right, I see some more people that joined it in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so we talking about going back to school because it's school time. Back to school, back to learning. All right, so what about another little story? But well, this is really a dog that had to go to school. Do dogs go to school? Yeah, sometimes dogs go to school. They go to dog training school. So this dog goes to school. Clifford! Clifford, the big red dog. Yes, Clifford has to go to school. Clifford goes to school by Norman Bradwell. Hmm, let's see what happened when Clifford went to school. I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog, Clifford. Clifford is very smart dog. He can do tricks. He can shake hands. Shake your hand. You really should see him play dead. He's good at that. I thought he was perfect. But my aunt didn't agree. She was a dog trainer. She said that no dog was perfect unless he been to dog school like her dog sandy so he need a little help <laughs> clifford was too big for regular dog school so my aunt said she would train clifford herself first he had to learn to heal he had to walk next to her on a leech look at that leech that leech was a little too short Got a longer leash for Clifford. 
that leech was a little too long. Poor, poor auntie. Auntie said, we will come back to that lesson. Next, she told Clif Clifford to sit. Clifford is very smart. He said, oh, look at Clifford. He's been a good dog. Luckily, Clifford didn't sit down really hard. The man wasn't hurt, just surprised. <gasps> it was an accident. It was an accident, he said on the guy. Auntie said that Clifford was pretty good at sitting. Now he needed to learn how to stay. That meant not moving until he was told to move, no matter what happened. He hoped she told him to sit and stay. Auntie said she had some good books on dog training that I should see. We went to her house a few blocks away, but they left Clifford standing there. <laughs> She had so many book, good books about dogs. I love to read. I guess I was so busy reading. Reading, I forgot about Clifford. He was still sitting and staying. Good doggy. He knew he had to sit no matter what happened. Sandy moved, but Clifford stayed. Even when a frisbee flew by his nose, he stayed. He's been a good doggy. And Clifford loved chase frisbees. Even when some dogs and cats played near him, Clifford stayed. But it was hard, very, very hard. Back at Auntie's house, I suddenly remembered Clifford, how could I have forgotten my dog? Oh, sometimes we forget about things. I ran back Clifford as fast as I could. I wasn't very careful. I forgot to look both ways when I crossed the street. Boys and girls, we got to remember to always look both ways when you cross the street and hold mommy and daddy's hand. So Emily, she had to remember to look both ways. Clifford saved me. I guess Clifford will never be the best trained dog. But to me, he'll always be the best dog in the world. All right. So it's good to have a dog like Clifford to help you cross the street. Remember to do things you're supposed to do. All right, Clifford was a good doggy dog. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Little boys and girls, we're still learning things. So we got to learn about head and shoulders. And we're going to learn where our head at, our shoulders. And sometimes we're going to continue to learn because even though we're at home, we're learning. So let's sing this little song called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, Knees, and Toes. Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, Knees. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right, let's sing it faster. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right. We get next time. Head. Shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. All right. What else we do? Do, 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 do. Arms, 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 arms. We're using our arms, 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 arms. All right. Now, head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right, so that was our body parts. All right, so we learning some of the body parts. So all right, remember saying we learning, we in learning mood because we're back in school. 
getting ready back to school, back to learning. All right, so our last story for the day is going to be about a little girl who has to go to preschool. All right, are some of you all in preschool? Somebody might be going to kindergarten. Somebody might be in first grade. Somebody might be in second grade. But no matter what grade you're in, you got to start somewhere. So let's start. Last book about a little girl named Maisie. Maisie goes to preschool by Lucy Cousins. See, a lot of fun things you do in preschool. But let's see what Maisie did. Today is a very good day for well, Maisie. She's going to preschool. There's always so much to do there and so many friends to see. First, Maisie hangs her coat on her own special peg with her name on it. Can you find Maisie's name? Maisie. And she got a couple of friends, Tallulah, Dottie, and Cyril. All right. Hello, Dottie, she says. Hello, Maisie, says Dottie. Good morning, Maisie and Dottie, says Mr. Peacock. Let's start painting today. Wow, you do some fun things in preschool. What pretty paintings, Mr. Peacock helps put them on the wall. That's my new house, says Maisie. That's Maisie and me dancing, says Dottie. After painting, it's snack time. They have juice, cookies, and fruit. Mm-mm, that's some good snacks for preschool. Oh, yummy, says Tallulah. Thank you very, very much. Maisie and Dottie go to the bathroom. Yes, you have to take a restroom break. Tallulah reminds them to wash their hands. <gasps> wash your hands, boys and girls. Every chance you get, wash your hands. Story time, calls Mr. Pete. Gather around, everyone. They all sit together and listen quietly to the story. Once upon a time, wow, something exciting is going to happen. Then it's quiet time. Everybody gets a blanket and snuggled up for a nap. That's a good time to take a nap. It's quiet. Then comes a noisy time. Maisie plays a guitar. Daddy plays a drum. Can you play the drum? That's a drum. Everyone plays something and joins in for a sing along. La 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 la. A sing along. Out on the playground, everyone gets busy digging in the sandbox. Playing with a ball. Driving the toy car. Everybody gets to take a turn. That's the best thing to do. Share with your friends. And playing on the seesaw. Wow, that's a fun thing to do in the playground. Play on the seesaw. How busy they all are. Wow, look at that. Playing on the seesaw. Playing on the Sliding board. So many fun things in the playground to play with. Then it's time to go home. Maisie really likes preschool. Goodbye, everyone, says Maisie. See you soon. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed that. We had a fun day with story time today. But some things we learned today, what did we learn? We learn when you go to preschool, you have to wash your hands. And not just in preschool, you have to wash your hands at home. So let's sing a song. We're learning how to wash our hands. You know how to wash your hands for 20 seconds. This is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands. 
Oh, while we in school, this is the way we scrub our hands, scrub our hands, scrub our hands. This is the way we scrub our hands. Oh, while we in school, this is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands while we at home. Wash, 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 wash. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands all while we're at home. And another way to wash your hands when you're at home, boys and girls, you can sing the ABC song because you need to at least get 20 seconds in. So what we do, we get our soap, we get some water, and we sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U B W X Y and Z. Now why no my A B C's? Won't you come and sing with me? Yay! We washed our hands. All right, boys and girls. I think I missed it. But we gotta get to remember to wash our hands even while we're at school and we're at home. All right, so this is coming to the end of our story time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Remember, every Monday through Friday, we have story time. Live streaming story time at 11 a.m. And all, you can always find us on our Fulton County Facebook page. All right, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Have a good day. Bye.